Hello everyone, this is Sam from Prism Scroll. So in this video, we're gonna introduce Prism Scroll Sheets, the newest app in our kind of line. So basically, in a nutshell, Prism Scroll Sheets is if you buy a sheet or you wanna make a sheet from some PDF or image that you have, let's say you hand drew a sheet, you can turn it into a editable, add different elements to it like buttons, text boxes, text fields, sounds, movable objects, and you can reuse it as many times as you want. So for example, right now, you know, you have our Prism Scroll 5e sheet, and this is same as like, this is for Dungeons and Dragons 5e, and I added all these elements here and you can add whatever you want. And you know, there you go. You have a sheet that's fill audible and you can reuse it and create as many as you want. And there's a lot of different things that you can add and I'm going to show you kind of how to do that. So we're starting out, you can start out with Dungeons and Dragons 5e. We're going to keep adding different sheets as just a base and then you can create whatever you want. And that's kind of what I'm going to go through right now. So in order to create a sheet, you need to have a PDF image, PNG, JPEG, that you can import into the app. So first you need to go to the creator screen. So creator is the yellow button there. And then you want to add a new sheet. So press the, the add button. So I right now I have a Pathfinder sheet that I'm kind of working on. So you would give it a name. And then, so there's different places you can get files from. So you have, you know, photo library, camera, and then files. So we're gonna add different ways that you can get things from. So for example, like Google Drive or Dropbox, or we're gonna have the ability, let's say if somebody, you bought a sheet and somebody, the person emailed you a PDF, well, you can just import that directly from your email rather than having to select it here, but that's in the future. Um, so for example, I have, I imported the, Actually, I did not. So, so basically, it, let's say you have it in Google Drive. All you have to do is open in, and then you want to save it to files. And then there's going to be a Prism, Prism Sheets that you can add it to a folder. That will kind of hold all your sheets. So once you have that, you can move back to the app. And now it's showing up there. So there's the standard Pathfinder thing so it will import every single sheet as a single element and you can do things like you know view it or you can move it down you know that sort of thing um, but yeah so once you have all your sheets in there then you can create it and then basically now here is the important part where the uh, where you can add all the different elements so basically you would just press a sheet and then edit so this brings you into the editor screen where you can add different elements. So let's say you would just push the but the add button in the top right. And let's say we want to add a text box for the character name. So basically it, it tries to put a text box in near the center of the screen. And all you have to do is select it. So that's kind of how you know what's focused. So basically you would select the element that you want to move and then you can just drag it to where you want it to go. So let's say I'm trying to put this in the character name. And then you'll see that these green bars here, these are to control the size. So for example, I wanna make this a little bit longer. I would use the width control at the bottom to make it a little bit bigger. Let's say I wanted to, you know, I can change things like the height as well. So now you can add as many elements as you want. You know, at, you can do this this way, but there's also sub, you know, item menu or details so basically long press and you can duplicate it or you know for example if you add a button you can change what the on and off of the button is and i'll show that here so let's say you can just duplicate it. let's say you have a bunch of of the same size text fields that you just want to not have to resize every single time you can just duplicate it um, and you can do that for every single element type so we got that. So I'll show you here the button. The button has a lot of different different options. So change the size here. So for example, let's say you want to have, you know, none when it's off, and then when it's on, or you we want on, we'll have. Let's do a star. 
And then when it's off, we can make it an empty star. So like, let's say for example, Dungeons and Dragons 5e, you have all of your proficiencies. Let's say you have, uh, if you're proficient, then it would be a filled in circle. And then if you're not, then it would just be empty and then it would toggle on and off. So now that you, when you add all your elements, then all you have to do is go back, it saves automatically. And then you just go back to the main screen and then you can just pick what, sh what sheet that you want to make. So we just made the Pathfinder sheet. So you would name your character, we call him Sam. Um, there you go. So then you can you have this sheet. It's got different elements here. So like let's say you can put the character name Sam, and then see so you, you see how the button and now it's toggleable. Let's say like to track inspiration or track hit points or track a feature. You know if it's a long rest, short rest, all whatever you can think of. It's very versatile. And if you let's say you didn't like that place of that you can go back and edit it and it will update all of your sheets so for example let's say I want I didn't like where that button was so basically all I would have to do is select it let's let's go ahead and move it over here and there you go it moved it so it keeps track of the locations let's say you wanted to add a new item it could add it to all of your sheets you know, you can delete item, delete items, and there's a lot of other things. You know, you have little buttons down here to keep track of what sheet you're on, or you know, you can jump to certain pages. And then there's also sounds that you can record. And then there's going to be some options where we might have some packs that you can get if you want, like combat sounds and things like that. But that's a short introduction to Prison Scroll Sheets app. Um, we have a lot. I have a ton of ideas on what I want to do for this, like. You can use this for sheets. You can use this for maps. We're gonna make where you can make your own custom sheet, like a blank template. Let's say you wanna make a soundboard from scratch. Like there is a ton of possibilities and I'm really, really excited to see what this turns out to be. And you can also export your sheet and share it with your friends. Let's say you are the DM and you wanna put in the work for your players. All you all you have to do is, you know, you. Have, you know, all you have to do is export it. Um, you would have to export the sheet itself. So, you know, and then you just share and then you would be able to email it or put it on Google Drive and share it with them and then they can import it and then they would be all set. So that's a quick introduction. Like I said, I'm really excited to see what it turns out to be and what you guys make. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions and I'll see you guys next time.